Okay, time to test it out. Got all this back together. All right, there we go. Finally. See what I had ended up doing. I showed you in the video where I was looking at the board and those resistors that got 241 on them. I pointed out the the, uh, the five of them that looked like they had a cold uh, solder joint on them. And had a cold solder joint on them, and, and they did. I fixed those and put it back together and. Uh, brought it back out here and tried it and it worked okay except it was just pretty dim it wasn't working right completely so I went back in there again what I had to end up doing is there's three more of them over on the other side of that board on the same physical side but just on a different part of it they also say 241 they also had cold solder joints on them so when you're fixing that board on that one side where those surface mount components are at I showed you just go ahead and re-solder every one of those flat pack resistors that say 241 on them. That's what kills this thing. So that's the repair, guys. I know it's kind of rushed. It wasn't a very detailed video, but that's how you fix these. This will save you some money. These things, you either have to buy a new one. If I don't, I don't even know if you can get a new one anymore. But uh, do that or, uh, you know, fix it. So that's what I did. I fixed it. So that was the main thing everybody's having a conniption freak fit about was this thing being out. So hopefully that'll shush sh them up when they look at this car. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. If you got any questions, comments, please leave them. I'll be glad to help you. See ya.